Um, as I say in all my house laboratories related videos, Gaga, if you're watching this, I love you. And please invite me to your house laboratory parties or, you know, whatever. Send me PR. I don't know. So I just wanted to note something that was pretty funny. Um, I made an Inglot palette, like, at least four or five years ago in the Inglot store in Times Square. And I chose colors and I was... Like, at the time I was really happy with them and then I wasn't so sure anymore and I haven't really touched it since. But then looking at the Gaga's palette and the Inglot palette I made, they are very similar in colors. Like, if you see that top row of Glam Room number one and then my Inglot palette, which is right here, like, the red looks the same, the gold is a little bit different, and then I also have a pale color and brown. So I just thought that was funny. I guess I was ahead of my time. <laughs> Okay, I'm back with another video, and this time it is another House Laboratories video. Um, yes, I have finally bought the palette. I was holding off a little bit just because I thought it was a little bit expensive, but in reality, like, I keep buying more clothes. Why can't I just buy this palette? And honestly, I love Lady Gaga, so, you know, it was about time. And I haven't, obviously I've opened it and I've looked at the colors, which are right here, but I haven't touched them or anything yet. Um, first I would just like to say it's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Because it's such a small palette, I was expecting it to be light. But I would say the, like, this part of the palette is as heavy as where the eyeshadows are. So it's almost like evenly distributed weight, which I was surprised with. Like, I was surprised that this part is so heavy because it's just the top. Um, but yeah, that makes it feel more expensive and luxurious. So here are the colors again. Um, I feel like, you know, this palette came out a while ago, and I'm sure there's millions of videos on it, so I just wanted to try it out myself. And I'm gonna try out a look with it, and I'm already not sure what to do. I never plan out my videos before I film it. I think I'm gonna go for the bottom row, because the top row has, like, a red and a gold, and I've done that already. And the bottom is more cool tone purple, so I think I'm just gonna try to use all of those colors. Um, let me just get right into it then. I already have a full face of makeup on other than eyes. Um, I'm gonna take this brown shade. On camera it looks a little orangey, but it's a lot darker in person. And I'm just gonna put that like in my crease. Ooh, wow. I like barely touched it and it's super pigmented. I would say right now it's kind of reminding me like the, uh, you can't tell on camera like the Jeffree Star Conspiracy palette because it's kind of kicking up a lot of dust, which I don't necessarily mind as long as there's pigment, which clearly there is. We're gonna see how this works now because I was just gonna kind of use this as a base, but it already seems to have taken on color in my crease. I'm gonna take the lightest shade at the bottom. Um, I don't know if any of these, oh, these do have names and they're in the back, oops. I'm going to take it and put it just on my lid. And I'm liking it so far. Like I said, super pigmented. I'm not really sure if the shade I'm putting on right now is supposed to be a metallic top hat. I think that's the color if these line up correctly, which I feel like they should. Actually, now I'm confused. It might be called Spotlight. I think that makes more sense. Because Top Hat would be black. The names are on the back and I was kind of reading it like based on what was the one right under it, but I feel like that's wrong. I should be reading it left to right. So um, I used Cameo in the crease and then Spotlight on the lid. I, I realize that my logic is a lot different than other people's, so that's why I do things like that or I think like that. I'm gonna take the middle color shimmy which is kind of like a looks like a metallic purple and put that on the outer part of my lid i don't know if you can see anything okay um this one's a little bit more subtle i also feel like it when you put it with the shimmy color it kind of blends into one another even though one um whichever color i oh, know when you put it when you blend shimmy into spotlight the colors kind of blend a little bit, but shimmy is a lot more of a 
darker purple. Um, then I'm going to go into Slipper Room, which is the deepest purple. Oops. <laughs> the deepest purple. Do more outer corner stuff with that, just to darken up that outer corner. Oh wow, see, do you see that? Really pigmented. Um, yeah, so far I'm, so far I'm liking it. Uh, the, like I said, the only reason I was hesitant was just because I thought $34 was a little expensive, even though, yes, I know I buy, like, so many other things that are more expensive than that. I don't know what stops me, but... Okay. And lastly, I'm gonna go with Top Hat, and I'm just gonna do even more outer corner with that color. And I'm also gonna try to I'm going to try to line my eyes a little bit with this shadow just to help the eyeliner show through or just to deepen my eye a little bit more. So I'm just going to kind of lightly go along my eye, uh, what do you call it, waterline? Eyelash line? I don't know. I kind of do a little wing with the black shadow. I don't know if you can tell. Um... Okay, and that is my look. Um, I'm really happy with how it came out. Like, I really like these colors. This is an everyday palette for sure. Okay, now that was my look. And I can do eyeliner, mascara, and stuff, but I actually think I like it without the eyeliner right now. Um, normally I use eyeliner, but I think this is one of those looks that I could do without. So that is the look. See you in another video.